CFO athletes, welcome. February 27th, the last Saturday of February. We have CFO closing time. So, team of two, 20 minute AMRAP. Partner one will be completing 30 double unders plus five double dumbbell power snatches. At the same time, partner two will be doing max shuttle runs at 10 meter distances. So each time you go 10 meters, that's one rep. Or you can do max burpees within a time. So as long, so the time that it takes for partner one to complete the couplet of 30 double unders and five power snatches, partner two will be doing the shuttle runs or burpees. Once that's done, you flip. Partner two will do three double unders, five double dumbbell power snatches, then partner one will do max shuttle runs or max burpees, and that will continue for 20 minutes. The score is gonna be based on your total number of shuttle runs or burpees. So, on that note, um, both athletes are working at the same time. There's no rest, unfortunately. So, it's a good uh, time to learn to pace yourself accordingly during the double unders, trying to figure out which one's gonna be your resting portion of this workout. Running shuttle runs and burpees because those points count may not necessarily be the right place to rest, but at the same time, think about finding a pace that you can do your do double unders and your dumbbell snatches and uh, also not having too much time for your partner to, to rest in between. So anyway, did you guys talk about that? Uh, double unders here, let's pick a number or a variation that you can complete in about 30 seconds. For the movement of the double unders, we're gonna think about keeping elbows in, in towards the body and back. So the further your elbows are out, the shorter the distance of the rope that would, that has to travel and so you can trip yourself a lot easier. So trying to keep those elbows in, kind of keep everything tight. Power snatches, choose a moderate weight that you can do, that you can complete the five reps in 30 to 40 seconds, about six to eight seconds per rep. For this one here, keep the elbows. For double dumbbells, it's uh, an interesting movement. So it's the only similarity positive to uh, power snatch with a barbell is keeping the keeping the weights close to the body as much as possible, keeping that alignment there so you don't have the extra distance to travel and burn out your shoulders as you do the power snatches with double dumbbells. For running and the burpee, if you add it all up, it should be about 45 to 60 seconds. These two movements, the couple should take that. So that's how much you're gonna be running or doing burpees. Ideally, let's go on unbroken on the double unders. Also, ideally unbroken on the the snatches if possible. Uh, if you do have to break up one of the one of the two movements, let's think about break up the snatches uh, because they may be a little bit heavier, and that way you could uh, not tax yourself because you have to go into the max shuttle runs and burpees afterwards. So that's what we're thinking there. You can you can think about pacing yourself throughout the 20 minutes with rounds one and two of the burpees, kind of like a target go for the workout. So if you do 14 or 15 burpees within that minute frame, let's try to keep that target for the entire time. As long as your, your teammates also uh, keeping up with their couplet in, that, in this workout. So something to think about. Modifications for double unders, where you can decrease the reps. You can go single unders, and if you do that, 45 reps. 30 seconds of practicing double unders, you can do double taps, line hops, or over and back dumbbell hops. For the snatches, you can do single dumbbells, an odd object ground overhead, kettlebell swings, or slam balls. For the run, you can modify that with any of the machines. Just go max calories on the machine. And for the burpees, we can uh, do a burpee to a higher target or a burpee without a push-up. So let's go with, ooh, let's not do that. Okay, okay, so double unders, we talk about the double unders. We're talking about keeping the elbows in and tight to the body and the elbows back. So not in front, but the elbows back right here. So this is the position you kind of want to be in when you're doing your double unders here and you're jumping nice and light, you're doing the double unders there. This, as you get tired, you begin to pull your elbows out further and further away. And now the, the travel of the rope gets shorter and shorter over your head. So this, 
Think about keeping that tight, keep everything in there, using just the wrist there. Nice, nice jumps as you do your double unders. For the double dumbbell power snatches, choose a moderate weight from the ground, get a good snatch position, have the, the shoulders over the dumbbell, just like you do with a barbell. One hand touches the ground there, keep the weights close to the body. As you come down, keep it close to the body. Back down here, both hands touch the ground, drive up with the legs, full lock out the top. Power snatches. For your shuttle runs, as we talk about running, think about being light on your toes as you're running back and forth. You hit your, your 10 meter target, think about looking back that way, and then traveling it back, keeping nice and light on the toes. No heavy feet, so you want to prevent the pounding of your, of your feet, which is a loss of energy and power. Or if you're doing burpees, good standard burpees, come down, chest, thighs at the ground, feet come together, stand up tall, full hip extension, get a full rep. Jump overhead for like so. Uh, modifications, we decrease the reps on the double under, single unders, practice. You can do double taps, keeping the feet together as you would for Double under, jump, 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 and as you jump, tap the side. You do line hops, find your line of choice, hop over the line. And if you go over and back on a dumbbell, find your dumbbell, over and back, one rep, over and back. That's going to be tiring, so that's a good one. Um, we can also think about for the snatches, you do single arm power, single arm power snatches. So again, keeping the body close, elbows high, alternating on the side. Odd object ground overhead. So you have your foam roller, ground to overhead. However, you want to do it, you do clean and jerk. You can clean it and jerk it overhead, or just good old snatch. You can do a kettlebell swing, either American or Russian. So if you go Russian, just to eye level, arms locked out, or overhead for American swings. Hinging at the hip. Try not to do the squat swing, but the hinge the hip swing. Kettlebell. And finally, you have a slam ball. Feel free, grab your slam ball on the ground to overhead, catch it on bounce, like so. So we got the calories on the bike as a, as a modification. If you're doing a burpee, so you can do a burpee without the push-up. So burpee without the push-up. to a higher target. So if you have a box, I'll grab this one here. You can go burpee to the box. You want to add the push-up to it too, feel free to do that. And that'll do it for CFL closing time. Hope you guys enjoy that wad. I'll see you guys at the after party.
CFO Athletes After Party for February 27th, 2021. We have three giant sets with two minutes rest in between each set. Each set is going to be three movements. One will be nine weighted glute bridges, then a 100 meter double dumbbell front, front rack carry. The last will be 15 weighted sit ups. So once you complete all those three movements, rest for two minutes, do three rounds total. So, weighted glute bridges. Grab your dumbbell of choice. Get into your glute bridge position. I like to keep my fingers touching the heel of my hand. Back down from here, knees trekking out. Ooh, let's adjust this guy so you can see appropriately. There we go. Okay, so restart. I like to place my hands down, palm down the ground, fingers touching the heel of my, my feet from here, knees trekking out. That's gonna be your glute bridge here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep it up top. And then when you have the weight, keep the weight at your hip level. And hold it with your hands. Squeeze it top. Figure nine weighted glute bridges. So, grab your double dumbbell front rack carry. So you gotta get two dumbbells. So you hold it, rack up here, either the dumbbells up high or on the one head on the shoulder, wherever you guys want to hold it. Front rack carry for 100 meters. So you're going to go 100 meters, keeping those elbows up, 100 meters. And then when you come back, do your 15 weighted sit-ups. If you need to anchor your feet, you can do that. You don't need to keep the elbows keep the dumbbell high on the body holding across you can hold them whichever way possible and from there do your setup preventing the dumbbell from going down towards the hips and then make sure the back touches the ground and like so and that will be your after party for Saturday, 12, 2, 27. If the weight is too much, feel free to go just body weight for the glute bridges and the sit-ups. If you use your ad mat sit-ups, that's fine. Glute bridges, if you have a band, you could go banded glute bridges. Um, and then maybe like a bare, if you can't do front rack carry, maybe just a heavy odd object carry, 100 meters. So plenty of options for modifications and hope you guys enjoy that after party and we'll see you guys next time.